the second year quarterbacks about ready to square off here. And I think both of these franchises saw glimpses of the future last year. Both of these guys I thought really acquitted themselves well as rookies. They were both eager to learn, both eager to get out and play. I think getting reps early in your time in the NFL can really jumpstart your career. And I think that's happened with both of these guys. Solid and he's dropped at the 18. Here come the Bengals now to take over. And they will be let out by their 6 4 quarterback. And what I'm looking for from him today the things every quarterback is looking to do lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Richardson on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Offline, even. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Second and two now. The penalty leaves him in pretty good shape. Back to throw, Richardson. Throwing the out route incomplete, it's Wells. Go, boy, A little football 101 there, you just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at it, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field, so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. They go play action here on first down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. on first down that leads to a second and ten now a handoff here to his running back and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40 
two carries for him now on the opening drive, both for good yardage. And based on film study, they thought that there was a chance to spring him more than once for some pretty good yardage in this game. First and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 38. Operating from the gun, Richardson. The loop, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Joe Hayden from his quarterback position on the sack that time. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, Took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. From the gun, Richardson. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Richardson now on third down. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A big connection on that one. 30 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Looking to throw, Richardson. The quick slant caught. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. And a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive. Now, we haven't met a young quarterback, a veteran quarterback. It doesn't matter. We haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities, right? That's true. But when you're young, it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence and allows him to play better as the game goes on. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Alan Hearns. Fine work there on the touchdown run. And the Bengals take it right down and score on the opening drive. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protected. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And he's got it to make it 7-0 Bengals. The 10-play drive that time, and it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown.
Here comes Harris out of the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here are the Browns under head coach Kevin Stefanski. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. All the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Sports. The start of the second quarter, and it's the Browns in control of the football as they got it with a second and four coming up. And again, this time to the tailback. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. <laughs> Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw. Mallory got a man and he hits him in stride. That catch good for only a couple. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting and they stopped him for a minimal game. To throw on second down, Mallory. The Bengal pressure gets him that time, down he goes. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options, and while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage, well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Looking to throw. Mallory. Try to lay one up deep. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline. But out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. A deep ball down that right sideline. And he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Flushed out right. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Screen, screen. 
They run a draw here on second down. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Brad, in all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder coming up in a couple of minutes time, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman, the coach in our EA Sports studios. They'll have a look back at the next-gen stats from this first half of action. And he goes out go. right around the 39. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to get the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Operating from the gun, Richardson. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I don't know about you, but I wanted to reach out of the booth and snatch that pass myself. That thing floated forever up there. I think that threw off the timing of the receiver. That's why he couldn't get his feet down even though he caught the ball. You know, Charles, I, I would have liked to have seen that. Yeah, me I, too. For, for you, I, I wanted to see you reach out and catch that. Yeah, you've heard about my hands, huh? <laughs> After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing again, Richardson. He's going to look deep down the field. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. Touchdown! A great play there. 61 yards, and the Bengals add on to their lead. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver squeaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. And their worst fears were realized as that would turn into a long touchdown. McManus now for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it ends with a Bengals score. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Here's Harris to return it. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. To throw again, Mallory. And he comes back with one complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 
when you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Throwing on first down, Mallory. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Looking to throw on second down, Mallory. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop them here on third down. Back to throw, Mallory. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bengals will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, Richardson. And he's got this one to Henderson. It's caught. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Okay, I'm not a fan of any routes that just, you know, turn around defensive backs, mainly because I was a defensive back. But the comeback route is so difficult because to sell it, you're selling it like it's a deep route before you come back towards either the line of scrimmage or the sideline. And, boy, that one worked to perfection. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw, Richardson. Throw left side complete, that's Wells. The Bengals gonna use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Richardson throwing on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Back to throw. Richardson. Touchdown, Bengals! A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals would extend their lead here just before halftime. 
So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. McManus's point after is good, and that makes the score 21 to zip. time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Here's Harris to return it. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. It'll be a gain of four here, and it will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we have reached half time here, and it's the visiting Bengals out in front. see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. Here's Harris to return it. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Now a throw here to his running back. And down he'll go at the 25. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And he's going to have a Browns first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. 
Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Going to give this time to the tailback. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows the punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. And they had to go the length of the field last time out to get into the end zone. And with this starting field position, they're going to have to pretty much do it again. And I think the thought process going into it is, hey, if you have to be methodical, go ahead and do that. But what you really want are a couple of big plays. Eat up chunks of yardage and cut down the number of times you have to snap the football. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Here's Richardson, looking to throw on second down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Looking to throw, Richardson. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henderson. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. To throw is Richardson from the gun on third down. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. And Brandon, from our time in college football, the receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Richardson on first and 10. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's the Bengals in possession of the football and in possession of the lead as well as we start the fourth. 
Now a handoff here to his running back. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And to give this time to the tailback. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Their biggest bout right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll try and run for it. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Back to throw. Richardson got a man over the middle and it's complete and he will be brought down at about the six yard line the passing game continues to be their friend even with a stable lead here in the fourth Charles they're going back to that well yeah with their overall philosophy you know that they trust their quarterback he's been able to throw it well if they continue to throw these safe passes who can blame them This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. They give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. They'll run here on third and goal. And this time he is in. Yes. Alan Hearns, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. 
Now McManus to tack on the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Cleveland offense making their way out. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. On first down, Mallory. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A big play that time through the air. 33 yards. Well, that's something you haven't had to talk about much this game. A nice big play right there. But this team, overall, they haven't done a whole lot offensively. Well, they're still sitting on the goose egg. We talk about defenses having pride in a shutout. This offense wants to get rid of that zero. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Mallory. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. On first and 10. Mallory, pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. Looking to throw, Mallory. Space to run past the 20, and all the way down to the 17-yard line. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. shot they'll look to throw quick hitter here it's complete and a little bit of a consolation prize there he's into the end zone they won't win him the game but they do get the score with all zeros showing but some fantasy players are really happy with that score the extra point is good but it only impacts the final score as this game comes to a close It's silly. It doesn't make any sense to me. I know they 
people have explained before. Well, 